Hello. In continuing the series about reclaiming pagan words, I'd like to talk about sovereignty. Sovereignty is a word that we don't tend to use in spiritual contexts, but um, it has been reclaimed by Druids as meaning personal autonomy. And it does in fact have ancient roots in a sense of connection with the land. So when we think of ancient pagan kingship, the king became the king by virtue of marrying the goddess of the land or the goddess of sovereignty. And so he couldn't rule if he had lost the favour of the goddess. That's why in the epic series of tales known as the Mabinogion, when King Math is made king, he has a sacred footholder called Goywin, and unfortunately she gets raped by two characters, two of the other characters, and they are suitably punished by getting turned into um, various creatures. But um, she is his footholder and she has to be a virgin um, because she represents the goddess of sovereignty. Uh, later on, we see the concept of sovereignty um, discussed by Chaucer in The Wife of Bath's Tale. And the moral of The Wife of Bath's Tale is that women desire sovereignty. Now, it's not entirely clear what Chaucer means by sovereignty in this context, although the story is about um, Gawain, the, um, the Arthurian knight, being punished for raping some women. So again, the, sub the subject of rape is linked to sovereignty. And so we start to see that the concept of sovereignty is linked to bodily autonomy and bodily inviolability. So sovereignty is definitely closely linked with feminist ideas um, of consent and the sacredness of the body and the inviolability of the body. So in Chaucer's story of the wife of Bath's tale, um, sovereignty is important and doesn't just mean ruling over others, but having sovereignty over your own body. And it's in this sense that modern Druids have reclaimed the word sovereignty to mean a connection with the land, bodily autonomy and self-determination. So it's not just a word that's reserved for royalty, it's for all of us to assert our inviolable sacred self. Have a nice day, blessed be.